Good morning, people. How you guys doing? Praise the most high for waking us up for another day. I'm coming with my thought of the day. This mic on December 20th, 2022. Today, <clears throat> I want to send an apology out, even though this brilliant lady had soon passed away in 2005 to Miss C. Dolores Tucker. See, back in the early 90s, I want to say around 90, 1993, Miss Tucker launched a crusade against gangster rap music. And she said that the music was disrespectful to our women and sending our young men to early graves in the prison system because of what the music promoted. Many artists and black men, including myself, went after Ms. Dolores Tucker with our comments and things that we said. You had rappers putting her in, lyrics, dissing her, calling her bees, and, and saying she ain't know what she was talking about, calling her a hater. Some of the most known were Tupac and Ice Cube. And I must say, in 2022, looking back at the situation, the lady was a prophetess. She was telling the truth. Because the state of what this genre, and not all rap music, but that particular gangster rap, which is now turned into drill rap, has done is, it's like a genocide on our community, man, in terms of our thinking. And this lady deserves an apology, and she was right. Miss C. Dolores Tucker, you was right. Now it's to the point to where this drill rap situation, an artist must prove himself by committing heinous crimes and acts before he even has a chance to get on in this industry. And then once you get on, it usually leads to you going to jail or you being killed. But yet, we have millions of more young fellas lined up to go to the slaughterhouse. We have to really look at this situation and says and see what it is really doing to us, man. And understand, like, in the 90, early 90s, this lady was telling the truth. And as men, we really have to look at this and look at what's the whole purpose of this movement. And is the, and is the, the money and the fame worth the destruction of our men and women because that's what's happening. The mentality is totally gone and it takes us farther away from what the Most High has intended for our lives. Um, And I was programmed in the situation too, so there's no way that I'm thinking I'm better than anybody or anything of that nature. They had me going. But with the with the Living for the most high now, I really see what's really inside the music. And I'm going to end with this. The song I'm a Boss used to be one of my favorite songs years ago when it first came out on MMG Records. I used to listen to that when I was drinking my Ciroc and my Ego and Pride used to be Do The Roof and because I own my own company. But now when I hear that song... I just see ego and pride and me and the artist just taking God totally out of the equation by saying, I'm a boss. What about the work that God is doing for you? What about the work that the Most High is doing? And I'm going to end this video right now. But let's see Dolores Tucker was right, man. Peace.